And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for part two of our standard best of three gauntlet. We have our three decks, Tarek Draven, Poros Give It All, Nocturne, Nightfall. We are currently sitting at two wins. We're trying to get to four wins for the Prime Glory. Uh, we are two and one. We you know we lost one in between. All right, so let's let's see if we can finish it out. Let's see if we can get the last two wins. Here we go. All right, there we go. So, uh, Lee and Zed. I don't know. I think I'm gonna ban this one. All right, Terra Draven. Start us off. We'll play against the two slower decks. Okay, starting with Ezreal, Ezreal Vi. Hmm. Definitely get rid of that. And get rid of this. And I guess we'll, let's just get rid of all of the spells. I'm glad we got rid of all the spells. <laughs> we got a couple of spells anyway. Let's go Precious Pet. Awesome, Muffin Chugger. Yeah, glad. Glad the deck's doing it better. Really glad to hear. That wasn't the very that wasn't the best jury rig I've ever seen. I guess turning on nightfall for these cards is gonna be kinda difficult. So I guess I just pass. And then play it like this so that we can turn on Nightfall. Unyielding light. Eh. And I got punished. That was a great blocker. And no, I'm not going to use a Might just to trade. Time for a true display of skill. This is not going good for me. If you not going up. good for me at all. Really hope we draw a Taric. That's the card I want to see. Just more mountain goats. Firing. Lives on. Come on, Taric. The and see the heretics. Yeah. Devotion to I don't think I allow them to have their 1-1 one, one block my 3-1. Okay, cool, Tumble Dog. Yeah, you're playing the Draven Ezreal deck? Yeah, that deck's good. Good, good, good. Ten. So if I play Might on this thing, we do an extra five damage. We put him down to five. So do I want to turn Might into five damage? Probably, right? Yeah. That seems reasonable. Seems pretty reasonable to me. So that three out of six with Ezreal. Yes, Tarek. Tarek best card. I don't miss. Tarek is actually our best card. Beauty and life. So Mystic Shot will be four. Oh man, I only have two mana. Oh man. Yeah. 
I guess they get to kill this. The mystic shot. I can't. Can't save it. Good card for them. That Tribune probably later. That was awesome. No, I should have saved Pill Cascade. I should use Transfusion. I bring clarity. Great draw. Another Taric. That was perfect. So how are we going to do this? Okay. To protect all. Follow the horizon. Just, just trying to think what what the other card I want to move the gem over to is going to be. Maybe it's one of these two ones to make these all three. Unyielding. Obviously not make them all three, but make that other thing three. Okay. So I can pump up the Solari Soldier to kill the Ezreal. Or I can keep my Taric alive. I think most likely killing the Ezreal is going to be the more important thing. I'm planning on the Captain Farron killing them. And so trying to be able to... There we go. Trying to be able to slow them down from killing me. It's going to be the most important thing. Flame Chompers. Alright, Captain, go in this. Oh, he didn't even say anything cool? Come on, Captain. Let's just say something cool. So they go up to nine. Whoa. My light shines. Not expecting that. Oh, they would challenge the 8-8. Eight, eight. I guess they didn't want my 2-2 two, two to block their 6-2. Transfusion out of play. No more talk. Hoping no hush. That was good. Pretty good. Here comes the punchline. If they have two mana removal from a precious pet, I'm gonna lose this, right? Like I don't have anything else. I gotta have this precious pet block. I guess I, sh I should have played the Guiding Touch first to see if we would have drawn another unit to block. Yeah, I should have played that first. Instead of playing the Decimate first. I should have done this. I wanted to do that like as a surprise, but yeah, then I would I needed to play the Draven right here. Dang, I can't believe we lost this. Yeah, can't believe I lost this. Here's the fun part. I should have played that Decimate first. Jeez. 
All right, we got Poros. Poros can do it. Uh, we gotta win with both of them still. Let's go back to this. Last time, whenever I lost with Tarek Draven, then I went over to Poros and won, and then went back to, to Tarek Draven and lost. Let's do like the same deck twice in a row. It's difficult to beat the same deck twice in a row. At least that's my um, theory that really cannot be proven. But I'm gonna go with it. Do you know what we haven't done with our Taric Draven deck, like at all? When was the last time that we played Draven on turn three? Okay. I think we played Taric on turn four one time. Draven on turn three, maybe one time. It's like maybe out of all these games, maybe we, maybe the champion on their turn, maybe one time each. Reaching the peak will change everything. We have not had the champions. Coming in hot! We're just gonna go to attacks and have this cooling strike. Devotion to battle. Or I could play Solari, uh, and then you know, like the soldier, have the transfusion available. Ours is the one I, I don't need a cooling strike right now. I was thinking like if they if they have if they play Zed this turn, I'd want to kill the Zed before they would untap and have protection for it. We'll see if that that's you know the best case scenario for them. We'll see if that's what happens. I will reach the peak. Without a sound. Of course. Other people get their champions. The wrong master. Me not so much. The guilty would bear. <clears throat> yes, yeah, this is going to be uploaded to YouTube. Um, I'm going to be putting it in two parts uh, because it's because it's a lot longer, a lot of games. So, like the first, those first three matches that we played, which are seven total games, that's going to be going up with the first part. And then what we're doing right now will be the second part. I want to play Crescent Guardian with the Overwhelm right now. In order to do that, I'd have to play the Guiding Touch first, and therefore I would not have Transfusion anymore. So I'm just gonna play without the overwhelm and keep transfusion. Clad in shining sunlight. Never mind. I was not that was not a card I was expecting, honestly. I, I didn't even think about that being in their deck. I was saying like Lee Sin. Hey, Tarek. Don't worry, I am here. Flame protector, playing some odd cards. Ooh, ten mana. That is everything in my hand. It's time to shine. Force is meaningless without skill. Dazzling. Punish transgression. Unyielding. So basically, I'm, I'm just copying the, the healing touch over so I can draw two cards. I know I could cast Might, copy Might over. I kind of like them not knowing about Might. Mm, they're going to be able to give the Lee in a barrier. 
I get the six. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Do that. Alright, don't love my chances here. Of course, Lee Sin's very good. But, hopefully we can just go to open attacks the next our next attack turn. Ugh. We are drawing our low power stuff though. One drop, two drop, one drop. No. That likely means I'm dead. With the overwhelm. How many spells they need? I guess they need four more spells. Okay, that's it's not easy to, to do four more spells. One super cheap one with the gem. Zenith Blade, that'd be four mana. So they'd have to have two others. These three cards would have to be two spells that cost three mana. Which they have another lease in. That'd be that with the resonating strike and everything. I will not hold back. Strike firm. Center your spirit. Protect. Okay, here we go. No units, please. Uh, these white flame protectors. Good. We've seen Spirit's Refuge from them. So I'm going to put my best attacker last. Uh, this is my day job. Um, streaming here and creating YouTube videos. Conflict is all in the mind. All right, let's go for it. I'm to negative one. That's all I got. Like, if, if this doesn't work, they're gonna kill me the next turn. Hopefully it works. All right, it works. Damn it. Ooh, all right, Tarek Draven sneaked out a win there. And so now we're going to be going on to game number three with Poros. <clears throat> All right, let's run back that same matchup. So they are a deny deck. Still, those other spells, you know, like are six, eight mana, very expensive. I don't know. It's possible I should just be keeping give it all and tr just try to play around deny, because how that's, you know, arguably the best card in the deck. But hopefully, we find another one. Return soon with stories of your plight. I'll see you again. After I reach the peak. Without a sound. I guess I could kill the Tiari also, but I don't really care about that Tiari. We're gonna save the Mystic Shot. And that's why I didn't kill the Tiari the first time, because of Zed. Braum, go put some more Poros into play. So Pell Cascade. Return soon with stories of your climb. I'll see you again after I reach the peak. I guess. 
Let's do this. They can block with a 1-4. I think that's a good trade for me. Just get 3 damage in on that thing. You spurn my gift. That probably probably means no Lee Sin in hand, because that's kind of a waste of a key guardian. So probably probably no Lee Sin. Ooh, love that Poro Snacks. Will these gems help me on my journey? I certainly hope so, cousin. I wish I had give it all. I can do this. I shouldn't have mulligan give it all. I was gonna say that'd be a weird attack. Here's the fun this. Good luck. Have fun. Where are you at? You're at two. Still know they have that unit in hand with the key guardian. No, please. So close. Okay, so it's not that. So they have another unit in hand. Um I'm not sure if I want to play this Poro Herder or just save mana for Aurora Porealis. I think I want to just do that. Now play. Follow along, little ones. My friend, you are lucky, man. Gives me like some somebody just to chump block with with a Sporo Herder. You know, like they attack with this wool squirrel. Ooh. Bless the people and fear the heretics. They had a Solari soldier. about that, but not not that worried still. They say these were from the protector himself. Punish transgressions. <laughs> You've gone and spoke them. I know I could have had Brawn block here, but I just I just want to kill this poor order. <laughs> Maybe that's bad of me to do. I'm sorry, poor poro herder. I was, I was just gonna replace it anyway with these poros. But I guess getting damage on Brawn is better. I, I guess I should be blocking with the Brawn. Yeah, I guess I should have just blocked with Brom. I I feel like we're very good against these three cards that don't matter, and you know, like those three units don't matter, and then they only have two cards. I feel like we're gonna win this one fairly easily. They actually shouldn't block here. I I should have played Poro Snacks before blocks because they really should just not block and not give me priority again. Now by giving me priority, I get lethal. I, they just don't make that block. They go to eight, or I guess six. They go to six. But by making the block, they're going to zero. And of course, that's fine with me. Oh, 
basically just have to not lose to Lee Sin. The other card in... This could be like Zen... I'm kind of... I'm kind of expecting this card to be Zenith Blade right here. That's what I think it is. Oh, uh, Lee Sin is leveled up. So Lee Sin, Zenith Blade... I guess could be a problem. Oh no! I was about to play Give It All and give everything Spell Shield! And then it was... No, that would have been good against Dragon's Rage. Yeah, I know, I know they used the Zenith Blade earlier, but I was thinking maybe it was another one. Alright, let's see. So, all Targon, so tons of Invoke and Defense and all that kind of stuff. This one... I'm either banning the first or the last. These Bilgewater decks are just... Pretty strong, like Bilgewater Noxus like that. You know what, let's ban this one. You know, like the Solari, all the, they have like, you know, they'll just like curve out with the Solari and then play Leona and then have all its invoke and game will take an hour and I don't know if my, my deck will be that great against that one, so let's ban that. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't love yeah, I don't love this matchup either though. Like this is Yeah, I don't I don't love this matchup either. Um guiding touch. Now we got to have units. So it's a tough call. It's a tough call between those two. I don't really love either matchup. Ours is the one true light. Well, I love this hand. We actually get to curve out for the first time. So I'm deciding not to attack, because of course attacking lets them deal damage to me on my turn with this uh, Gangplank. For here they're only doing damage to me on their turn. No mercy for heritage. Definitely considering... Definitely considering... Pale Cascade, Solari Soldier, Block Misfortune. I guess I guess I could go Spinning Axe, Block for? Misfortune. Spinning Axe, Discard Mountain Goat. Time for the money makers. The guilty will bend. This gives me, you know, Taric into Pale Cascade next turn. And then Kato. My best draw step is probably the card Might. For turn six. Each life a rare jewel. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Protect all. Never submit. Not bad. But Might is still my best card to draw. Play the Crescent Guardian to be able to block the Gangplank. Who's gonna get in my way? Break their legs. Okay. So should I put Tarek down to one health, blocking the Legion Grenadier? No. Should I trade here? With the Legion Grenadier. It is good to have the Legion Grenadier die on their turn when I'm going to be taking damage anyway. Alright, 
Uh, let's see. Man, we're just drawing... We can't draw any spells. Just all units. So if I play Soldier, then I can play Kato, or I can play Crescent Guardian plus Legion Grenadier. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Unfortunately, Spinning Axe doesn't copy over with the Taric. I imagine. Imagine they'll have gangplank block. Draven. I guess it could be Tarek. No, Tarek doesn't copy. Spinning Axe, because Spinning Axe with the discard one, that discard counts as, like, targeting. Sure about that. And so since that counts as targeting, it, it's not, like, it doesn't only target the Taric. I don't know, like, that last turn of playing Crescent Guardian, now this turn playing Crescent Guardian, I don't know if these are the right things to do. Alright, it's so a double fervor. It's gonna leave them in a good spot. Yeah, this leaves them in a pretty good spot. You hoping they'll die of boredom? I want to Culling Strike that right now. The problem with Culling Strike right now is they could uh, have a third Noxion Fervor kill my Soldier, then attack me for five. Let's either the Culling Strike now or just playing the Grenadier first, see if they do something else to make sure we get the Grenadier in play. Um, I hope they don't have another Noxion Fervor. That's pretty, pretty unlikely to have three of them, though, right? That's got to be pretty unlikely. Oh, come on. Shit a tear. That hurts. Let him bleed out. Fuse is lit. That hurts. Out of my way. Well, I was going to play Captain Baron. Or sorry, I was gonna play Kato. Victory at any cost. Down to three. I can't imagine that third decimate matters. I don't. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure what my opponents could be having to win that that kills me before I decimate. And I don't think they really have any healing. So I'm pretty sure we got this. The. Hmm. They can have like two warning shots. I guess three. They need three three warning shots or make it slash make it rains, like two make it rains and a warning shot. No. Alright, cool. Alright. Got the first game. That's good. Alright, so now we need Poros to be able to defeat. Alright, thank you, Gucci. So we got donation deck for Mage Seeker Lux. I'll write you down. I never 
No, I was thinking that would match up against their one drops, but it didn't. The elusive Porobot is now regeneration. Now, where did that one run off to? Let's get a lifesteal Porobot. You started without me. There's plenty of well, That's a pretty good hand. Challenger Porobot. I'll play the one that Lonely Poro created. For the Empire. Make the Empire proud. All right, come on, Poro snacks. Poro snacks. Poro snacks. Wow. Oh, yeah, I didn't attack with that elusive, sorry. I forgot about that elusive. Sometimes I'll happen, you know, it's it's right in the center of the screen, so it's kind of behind, it's behind my camera. Nah, I forgot about it. Yeah, I don't love the thermogenic beam of how, like, I didn't get to, you know, like, play anything else. Like, I don't love, like, that I had to spend four mana whenever I have, like, give it all in my hand. <clears throat> but I, I think it was, like, our, our best play. Yeah, I like the Braum. Aren't any gods here? Just me. Let's show our friend. Good luck. I'm gonna try to set up give it all next turn. Neither the flames nor the depths can claim me, Cam. Save three life. Let them bleed out. Stand behind Bro. What have horrors done to you? So we get four. You wanted wrath. Hopefully four, three, five, overwhelm, elusive, regeneration. Don't get Nocturne Fervor, don't kill my Braum, please. Okay, we're gonna block those, kind of. Not really the Gangplank, but the others. Or 
Or about you have overwhelm? I don't want overwhelm. Brom has seen many things, but flying Poro? Any challenges? Let's do this. You are safe with Brom. Yeah, they they didn't attack in the correct order. Um, yeah, okay, that's what I was going to say. I feel like they were going to go Noxion Fervor. Your king has returned. To level up Gangplank, turn Gangplank into 6 power, but... I'm not convinced that's... I don't really think that that's better than necessarily just doing the Noxion Fervor right away and then attacking with the... I guess, oh, because then that would have my... Um, Braum level up. Okay, so let's see. So next turn we're going to have 9, we're going to have 12 mana next turn. So this is 10 mana. Because I don't really want Overwhelm, I want to... I want to get a, a different keyword. So I think we pass to try to get a different keyword. Lock the doors. Spell Shield. This would give me 2 mana for Thermogen Thermogenic Beam. Obviously, I wish I would have played this last turn, because then I would have had enough to Thermogenic Beam and kill these things. Uh, left for a snack? Keep up, keep up. Yeah, that, that Fervor probably won them this game. They, they added an amazing hand, and I, I'm impressed with how well we competed against that hand. Yeah, with like no, po yeah, not a single Poro snacks. I'm impressed with how well we did. Yeah, they just keep on having spray fin hit Noxion Fervor just the best possible. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Get to work. Keep on getting the best possible. Of course we are still friends. Put up a good fight. Yeah, I guess maybe that is their only possible. You know, maybe they maybe they have taken out everything else besides fervor. I guess that's true. I guess you know now with the make it rain nerf. We won this matchup earlier with Poros. Don't know if I love this hand though. No, this hand's pretty good. All right, what are we going to get? Fearsome. Now, where did that one run off to? Where did they go off to? We will have Poro snacks this time. Pablo's been down. Let his knee out. A lot of Poro snacks. Start that to the stay at home, pal. Get him elusives. Close your eyes and the stars will fill you with their light. Man. Bring the fucking bell! Where are you off to? You leave me no choice. Round him up! Take a heart.
Cool. Get rid of their thing challenging my Poros. Man, these two games, my opponent has had amazing hands. It'd be nice if we could get some champions. I know they're elusives right now. Plenty of room inside. I'm hoping these patch portal bots turn into elusive. No. Quick attack. Quick attack does give us another keyword. So I could just throw out the quick attack and hope for elusive. Could just do that. Um, I could play the two Poro snacks also, make this five power. I'm sure they'd have stuff that would be able to save their Tom Kench, and, and also that probably just lets them heal more. So maybe don't need to do that. Nah, probably don't need to do that. Because that's how I'm, you know, scared of losing this game is this, uh, this Star Spring. Oh, why did I just pass? I meant to play the Dispatch Portal Bot. Whoops. Draw a daring Poro for us, please. Take heart. Live with purpose. They're not really doing two extra damage to me, are they? They can't cast Spell Cascade if I don't block. No, I need a daring Poro. That's not a that's not elusive. So what's in store for me? I need time for commune, Tom! This you know! Come on, elusive. Oh, I guess they just eat it now. Yes. A lot of elusives. Perfect. Now this thing's going to be elusive as well. Now they can obviously have like Nexus healing and stuff. Yeah, this is going to be very close. Hopefully this works. It's going to be close. I do have the mana to be able to play all of this in hand, so that's good. So what's in store for me? Yeah, and obviously, yeah, obviously thought she would just be bad this whole time. Okay, let's go elusives. Two mana, I think. Yeah, we should we should have them. There we go. Let's play some Poro snacks because it's just a cool animation and everything. Wow, that's close. But the elusives, elusives got us. Ooh, 
That was a close one. Alright, victory! So we got Prime Glory. That 2-1 to one win. There we go, four wins. All right, so that's that's the last chance gauntlet, or that's the uh, the standard gauntlet, best of three. Um, we will be uh, going for that last chance gauntlet on Friday, December fourth, as well. So that's next. Is that next Friday? No, the Friday after next. Okay, the Friday after next, and um, we have three prime glories uh, towards that. Um. So why play the snacks? What if they misplayed and didn't play hush and then you gave them priority? Uh, I guess that's true, because then they were at seven and they would have hushed. That's true. So I guess I didn't need to. I... Yeah, I guess I guess that was the only way I could have lost, right? Because because I did give them the priority again, but... The Poro Snacks, ha like, I don't know. Poro Snacks is just so cool. It has that cool little chomp chomp animation and stuff. Just had to play it. But yeah, I, I guess I could have lost. All right, some awesome, yeah, awesome games there. Super close. That was nail biter, and um, yeah, there we go. So we're gonna continue on now with our rank up Sunday. Just doing some uh, normal ranked games with Tarek Draven and with the Poros. Give it all, and uh, see how we do with ranked with both of those. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know how you like this format with the best of three. And uh, yeah, how are you enjoying it? Um, you know, are you doing well with it? What are you playing? Um, all that kind of stuff. Love seeing those comments. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.